We're just going into uncharted waters here, and I don't think anybody, any of us here, know where we're going. But boy, was it was it a, a, a heck of a ride. You know, I'm going to treat this election as something of an aberration. I'm going to continue to rely not on what I want to happen, but what I see happening. You know, when I, I think back about this result and this mistrust of expertise of the piece that had been missing was the piece about small town rural America. But anybody that thinks this thing was mechanized, was organized, was, was anything other than spontaneous combustion, uh, I think they're crazy. When Donald Trump asked that question, what do you got to lose? He was asking it of the minority community, African Americans, Latinos, but really that seemed to be kind of the general the general question he posed in the entire campaign, what the hell do you have to lose? I think Charlie and my answer for many months was, a lot, there's still a lot to lose. But Republicans in general said it's worth, it's worth the risk. This is not someone who is caught up deeply on principle. <laughs> this is a guy that in his own unusual way is extremely pragmatic and that for some of these Freedom Caucus Tea Party types, he will be more closer to what a McConnell or Ryan want to do. He has created a lot of expectations among his supporters. They'll give him plenty of leeway for a while. But um, again, I was talking to somebody else who said, you know, don't expect the Republican Congress to just rubber stamp everything that he proposes. Don't expect that because there is a difference. They are conservatives in the Congress, most of them. Donald Trump is something else. It's a human vision, a legacy we want to leave behind us.